please welcome our fearless deputy CEO, Jeanette Marais. Jeanette, over to you. Thank you, Andile. And I have to agree with you that we indeed are in truly difficult times. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. For those of you that attended our Global Matters Conference, you would have heard us say that these kinds of events in the financial markets have happened in the past, they will happen again in future, but we do know one thing, and that is that markets will recover as they've always done in the past. Given the sequence of events right now, you could say that you should never let a good crisis go to waste. And to be honest, that is one of my life philosophies. But I have a similar sentiment towards a good sale. So funny, isn't it, that the words Black Monday stirs emotions of fear and panic, yet we associate Black Friday far more with the opportunity to pick up a bargain. When a sale takes place, the reduced price of the clothing item or the appliance doesn't change the value or the quality of the item. A similar perspective can be applied to the market fluctuations we witnessed over the past three months. The decline in the prices of the companies or the assets had little to do with the value or the quality of the assets, but rather all driven by market sentiment. Always remember that in times of market decline, we find the best buying opportunities. Volatility is not the risk, but overpaying for assets is taking the risk. Now, without giving away my age, I have seen a few crises in this market. And there is one truth that I've come to realize. Markets go through its cycles. But after each sharp fall, we've always seen a recovery. You just don't know when that is going to come. So I want you to consider that perhaps we require these market anomalies in order to create long-term wealth for our clients, but with one caveat, and that is that our clients remain calm and that we help to keep them invested. In 2008, we saw a decimation of equity markets during the global financial crisis. Investors all over the world destroyed value by either fully disinvesting or by rebalancing to cash. They then tried to time their market entry back into equities, and as we all witnessed, they missed that perfect time. They still made money, but by staying invested and orientated around and focused on their goals, they could have achieved so much more. These statistics show that right now, we appear to be making the same behavioral choices, driven by fear and panic and switching to cash in the second half of March 2020. The problem with switching to cash on top of the risk of selling low is that you miss the recovery and you lock in your losses. Further to this, and as I've mentioned, timing the market is virtually impossible and you end up not being in the market once it turns and so you negatively impact your returns. You may have seen in one of our recent communications, we demonstrated the performance of the local equity market over a 20 year period and the impact of missing the recovery days and how this impacts the overall performance. We cannot time the market. We need to remain invested. We believe this is where our investment philosophy of outcome-based investing has no better value than when shared and coupled with your advice process. I hope you walk away today with a new perspective to help your clients navigate what is actually just another crisis. It is going to be difficult in the short term, but together we're all responsible for the rebuilding of the economy and our trusted relationship with you and yours with your client is an important piece of this puzzle. In closing, we believe avoiding emotional decisions and sticking to a long-term investment strategy will ultimately get you and your client to your investment goals. So together with you and our investment team, I want to say we can do this. Thank you.